RTE help. Listening module. Highlighting correct word. Test 4. Our lifestyle is the way we live. It is composed of a variety of elements and habits. What we eat, what we drink, our level of exercise, how well we sleep, how well we manage stress and adapt to stressful situations, our behavior and how we interact with people, not forgetting our sense of belonging and purpose in life. It is also affected by how we think and how we see life in general, by our attitude and the choices we make when confronted with the vicissitudes of life. PTE help. Listening module. Highlighting correct word. Test 4. A balanced lifestyle is the way in which we live, and reflects that the different elements of our life, are in the right amount and proportion. Adopting a balanced lifestyle is of primordial importance, because it has immediate and long-term effects on our health and well-being. This is confirmed by many recent studies which clearly show that conditions such as heart diseases, stroke, cancer, diabetes, as well as many other chronic diseases may be preventable, and even reversible by changing our diet and adopting new attitudes and lifestyle. PTE help. Listening module. Highlighting correct word. Test 4. Punctuality is a wonderful trait of a person, one to be admired and respected. Punctuality displays a person's respect for people and time. In a scheduled appointment, the latecomer usually gives an impression that he doesn't value the other person's time or considers his time more important than that of the other. This is exactly why candidates are never late at a job interview. Punctuality is more important at the workplace, because it is here that you get paid for the hours you put in, and employees are expected to be punctual and dependable in order to meet the needs of their department and the college. When employees are absent or tardy, work and service are interrupted and an additional burden is placed on colleagues. Punctuality is one of the important factors in evaluating individual performance and continued employment. Many people work from home these days. To them punctuality means being available online during office hours, logging in into meetings punctually, and meeting project deadlines. PTE help. Listening module. Highlighting correct word. Test 4. New York City has always attracted mapmakers. Its instantly recognizable street grid, intensely diverse populace, and iconic, ever-changing skyline have provided endless inspiration for cartographers throughout history. Perhaps nowhere is that more evident than in pictorial maps filled with illustrations that reflect New York's culture at the time, they were created. One of the earliest pictorial maps of the city, depicts New Amsterdam, as it stood when the British took the city and renamed it New York in 1664. 
The map shows the tip of Manhattan Island covered in gardens ringed with buildings, and British man of war ships occupy the surrounding waterways. PTE help, listening module, highlights incorrect word, test 4. Low gasoline prices are good news for the country's national highway system, which received a D grade on the most recent report card for America's infrastructure. The federal fuel tax is applied to every gallon of gasoline sold, rather than its price. Higher demand for and consumption of gasoline, therefore, should generate additional tax revenue. The American Society of Civil Engineers calculates that $170 billion in annual investment is needed to significantly improve the country's roads. Actual spending has not kept up, and the Highway Trust Fund, which finances spending on national roadways, nearly went broke last year. Funding for America's interstate system has not met requirements in recent years because of the way its maintenance is funded. In 1956, Congress created excise taxes on gasoline and diesel fuel to finance highway construction. PTE help, listening module, highlights incorrect word, test 4. The fuel taxes the revenues of which were paid into the Highway Trust Fund were considered to be more equitable than the previous method of funding highways with income tax revenues. The amount of income tax paid by a taxpayer is a function of overall income, meaning that highways were originally financed by the wealthiest Americans rather than by the drivers using them. The fuel tax, on the other hand, is similar to a toll in that the individuals getting the most use out of the highways also contribute the most money to their upkeep. The 1950s and 1960s saw booming demand for gasoline as Americans bought more cars and spent more time driving. Those cars also achieved poor gas mileage, although drivers did not mind since gasoline was inexpensive. U.S. gasoline and diesel fuel consumption increased until 2008 and fuel tax revenues rose with it. Meanwhile, the fuel tax has remained at $0.184 per gallon for gasoline and $0.244 per gallon for diesel fuel since 1993. PTE help, listening module, highlights incorrect word, test 4. In Asia, weedy and wild types of rice are often referred to as wild rice. However, American wild rice, favored by gourmets, is not rice at all. It is Zizania palustris, a semi-aquatic cousin to rice and a grass native to the Great Lakes region of the US and Canada. Native North Americans have gathered and eaten wild rice for thousands of years. It is still harvested wild, 
Although domestication in Minnesota began in the 1950s, perhaps the first cereal to be domesticated by humans since the time of the pharaohs. It is still comparatively wild with regard to plant variability and seed shattering. Wild rice is grown commercially in Minnesota, California, and Canada. In the US, wild rice is now grown in much the same way as real rice, in flooded fields, with yields of up to 1.6 t slash high in Minnesota and twice that amount in California. In Canada, commercial production is mainly from leased lakes that are seeded. The leaseholder is given exclusive harvesting rights and much of the harvesting is done using i-boats. Wild rice is a recalcitrant seed and thus cannot be dried for storage. In Minnesota and Canada, shattering onto wet soils provides the seed for next year's crop.